Hi guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to participate in a liquidity pool in the metaverse game DeFi Kingdoms. I will show you what is a liquidity pool, how to participate in it, and how much money I have made in the past few days since I have been participating in a liquidity pool. Before we start this video with people who have basic understanding of cryptocurrencies, are already registered on a cryptocurrency exchange and can buy cryptocurrencies and people who have a MetaMask account. I'm making around 400% annual return on the money that I provided into the game with liquidity pools. Liquidity pool is an instrument to provide liquidity and earn an interest. I will explain exactly what it is in a minute, but this is what I'm doing in the game. I'm not playing it. I'm just providing liquidity and I'm earning a very, very high reward for it. Now, let me quickly show you the game. This is how the game looks like. This is the map of the game and you can play it. But what I am doing it is just providing liquidity into the gardens and earning a very high interest. These are the gardens and you can see these are just two options. The seed box shows you what kind of liquidity pools there are. So now what is a liquidity pool? Liquidity pool is a collection of funds locked in a smart contract. In the traditional world, when we execute a trade, we always have a counterparty. So if I want to sell a stock, I will have a buyer for the stock. So you need these two parties in order to make the trade together. In the DeFi world, this is not always the case. If you're executing a trade in the DeFi world, you don't always have counterparty. Instead, you're executing the trade against a liquidity pool. For the buyer to buy, there doesn't always have to be a seller to sell. There just needs to be enough liquidity in the pool so the trade can go through. Users who deposit their crypto into a liquidity pool are called liquidity providers or LPs. And they get a reward for that, which is called a liquidity provider reward. So you see here that in this liquidity pool, we always have a pair. So a liquidity pool consists of two pairs of tokens. DeFi Kingdoms is a game played on the Harmony blockchain. So the Harmony blockchain has its own token, which is called One. And the token of the game is called Jewel. So you can see Jewel here. This is the token of the game. In this case, this is a liquidity pool, which consists of the tokens Jewel and BUSD, which is a stable coin. When we go forward, I will scroll down and you can see here, for example, it's Jewel 1. This is another liquidity pool, which consists of the token Jewel, the token of the game, and the token 1, which is the token of the blockchain on which the game is played. So in order to provide liquidity into this pool, a liquidity provider has to provide an equal amount of both of the pool's tokens. So let's say I pick this liquidity pool to a one, jewel one. So let's say I have a thousand dollars. I divide the thousand dollars and buy $500 worth of jewel and $500 worth of one. And then I provide the amount of these tokens into the liquidity. And for that, I get a liquidity token, an LP token, for which I gain this amount of interest per year, 408%. So what I did, I picked this pool, Joe BUSD. Uh, this gives me 404% currently, but it's changing daily. And you can see here my rewards. When I provide this liquidity, the liquidity is locked for a certain period of time, which is around six months. So the money I provide to the pool, I cannot get out of the pool. It stays there for about six months. And I get rewards on a constantly, not even on a daily basis, but like on a minutely basis. And I provided the liquidity on the 6th of January, which now we have the 9th of January. So basically three days later, actually two and a half days later, and I already can pull out $21. You can see here 1.175 Joule. These are approximately $21. And the rewards that I cannot get out 
are about $33. So in total amount, I get $55 just for providing this liquidity for two and a half days, which is like insane. But what are the risks? The most common risk and a risk that everyone should know when they provide liquidity into a liquidity pool is called impermanent loss. It's a loss that you can encounter compared to just holding on to the tokens. I also call it opportunity loss. So let me give you a, an example with a calculator. Here we can calculate what could be our loss in case we provide money into the liquidity pool. So as I already told you, a liquidity pool always has two tokens, a pair of two tokens. So let's say token A is the jewel token, which currently trades for about $18 per coin. So let's say we bought it for $18 per coin. And token B is the Harmony 1 token, which currently trades for about 30 cents. So let's say today we bought these two tokens to provide liquidity with them. In the future, after six months, let's say that our liquidity Let's say that our jewel token is now worth just nine and the Harmony One token is now worth just 20 cents. So you can see we have just 1% in permanent loss. So I'm not gonna go into the detail how this exactly is calculated, but this is what we can lose this 1% if we keep our money into the liquidity pool versus just keeping the tokens like this, a higher impermanent loss can occur when the tokens go in different directions. So when one of the tokens goes up a lot and the other goes down a lot. So let's say our jewel token goes to 40 and our one token goes to 10 compared to the original prices. So here we can have a 32% impermanent loss. But you always have to give it into perspective. If you have a very high annual return for, let's say, 400% compared to this impermanent loss, it's of course something you can live with, I think. So this is how you can calculate your permanent loss, which is the risk uh, can, that can occur when you invest in liquidity pools. Hi guys, and welcome back into the game. Now, let me show you how to participate in the liquidity pool. So step one, is buy the cryptocurrency one on any um, cryptocurrency exchange that you're using. Step two, transfer the cryptocurrency one, the coins that you bought into your MetaMask. There are plenty of videos on YouTube how to do that. So now we're starting from the point where you already have your one coins on your MetaMask. So that I already have uh, 4,109 one coins. All right, so I'm going to use these coins to participate in the liquidity pool. So what we're going to do is first, I will pick a liquidity pool to participate in. So let me go to the gardens and see what I need for the liquidity pool. So I already participate in this one, Jewel BUSD. So I would love to participate in the Jewel 1 liquidity which is this one. So uh, Jewel 1 and it currently it pays 414% annually. So what I need for this pool is the equal amount of Jewel and the equal amount of 1 uh, in dollar value. So next step, I will go to the marketplace. Uh, because I only have 1 coins, I first need to swap 1 for jewel. So I have 4,109. 4, so I'll just swap half of that for jewel. The half of it is 2,054 coins. I will just swap 2,050 coins for jewel. So I would get 34.10 jewel for this amount of one. So I'll swap it and then uh, I have to confirm it in my MetaMask. Okay, the transaction is now confirmed, so I'll close everything here. So now I have an equal amount of 
jewel and one in US dollar, dollar value. And the next step is to go to the Druid where I can buy seed for the liquidity pool. So here I will select one and jewel. These are the two tokens that are the liquidity pool tokens. And I'll just click here on the maximum amount of jewel that I want to put in. One very important thing guys to know is that currently in my account, I have 2059 one tokens. I have to leave something in my account, let's say one or two coins in order to pay for transactions. Because if I put everything into the liquidity pool, I will not have any coins to pay for my transactions. So what I'll do is not put everything here. I'll just put, let's say 56 like this. Okay, so now I'll say supply. So here you can see, um, I will get one jewel pool token. So this is a liquidity pool token that I will get in a month. And the, the tokens I will get are 251. So I'll confirm. And here I deposit 2056 one coins and 34.3 jewel coins. Confirm supply. And I always have to confirm in my MetaMask. So the transaction is confirmed. Now what I have to do is go to the gardens. I'll go to the gardens where I can plant the seeds. So I go to the seed box. And as you can see, I already participated in this pool. This Now let me go to the other pool that I want to participate in. This is the jewel one pool. Now click on deposit. So here I have to click on deposit tokens and this is the available tokens that I have to deposit. So I click on, on the maximum or deposit the maximum. I will prove it. I have to prove it again in MetaMask. And then the next step would be to click on deposit when it goes through. Now deposit and I'm depositing the liquidity. As you can see, it always costs a little bit of one coins for every transaction. All right, so the transaction is confirmed and I deposited my money into this pool. That's it, you can see my deposit is here. So now I'm participating in this pool again for uh, a little bit over 400% annual return. Of course, this return changes every day depending on the liquidity provided into the pool and usually it decreases. But still, you know, it's very, very good profit. Let me show you now how it looks like. Now, when we go to the gardens, I click on seed box and you can see here in the top is the first pool that I just started participating in, Jewel 1, and the next pool that I'm already participating in. And here is the rewards that I've already gained. Now, guys, I wanted to show you this dashboard. I'm gonna put the link for this dashboard in the description. This shows you an overview of your investments into the game. And now I'm in the garden section. So you can see that I have a total value put into the gardens of $2,869. So this is the total amount of money that I put in uh, for liquidity pools. And I'm earning an average of 379.9%, so 380% on average uh, yearly. The total rewards that I've already ac accumulated now, it's the 11th of January. So this video is being recorded in two days. So the 11th of January, I started on the 6th of January. So we have about four or five days. I've accumulated $72 in rewards. And here you can see an, a daily average, I would get around $29.9 daily, so $30 per day. Per week, $209, and yearly I would get around $10,900. And on this side, you can see the two pools that I'm participating in. This net profit and loss basically just shows um, that I the, the currencies that I invested in lost some of their value. It doesn't mean that I actually lost this money. So if I would have hold this money, 
these tokens, instead of putting them into the liquidity pool, they would have lost value. But uh, this is not an actual realized value. So the thing that is important for me are my total rewards here that I'm looking at. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about NFTs, the metaverse, how you can participate in it, and of course, how you can profit from it.